Hi Aries, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're going to get you some messages. Let's see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides want to tell you. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. Let's jump in, get your cards, two of swords, two of cups, six of pentacles, six of wands, and uh, king of cups. Well, look at this. You have two twos, two sixes, and then the king. This is a pretty powerful read. So if you're seeing um, multiple numbers, take Take that as a sign, serendipity, um, you know, synchronicity. It's, uh, yeah, definitely something you, uh, letting you know that you're going to be on the right track. Or you're headed in the right direction, or you're thinking the right things, something like that. All right, so... With that being said, <laughs> Six of Pentacles is the center of the read, right? So this is about asking yourself how you can bring balance to a situation. You know, Six of Pentacles is about equal give and take, or it's also the charity card. Somebody can be can um, be very charitable with you, or you're going to be very charitable with them. But this card also urges you to give and receive freely without judgment or shame. So, in other words, if you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it. Don't be ashamed of that. Um, we all need help sometimes, so don't be embarrassed by that. Um, and if you are in a position to give help, well, then that's, uh, you know, what you should do at this time. So, you know, with that being said kind of feel like you're at a crossroads here. I think there's a decision you have to make, but uh, you might not want to make it. I do think it has to do with a soulmate. Two of Cups is here, so that's a deep spiritual bond with somebody. And um, I think that whatever this decision is, it will lead to your happiness. It will lead to some kind of a victory because Six of Wands is a victory, but it's a victory after the battle. So after you've gone through something, you will finally get that recognition or reward that you're looking for. So I, again, I don't know if Six of Pentacles is asking you to, to be very generous with somebody or for somebody's going to be generous with you. I'm not sure. But I do know that being in the King of Cups energy, you are a love bug. You know, you're just very loving and, and you have a huge heart. And um, that leads me to believe that you might be generous with somebody. So I don't know. Um, if you are single, this could suggest that you will find love soon. Uh, a soulmate could be coming in for you. Maybe as a result of um, you know a decision that you made. I don't know. We'll have to get some more cards here. So let's see what else is going on here. Pay attention to your finances with the purse. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. I'm not sure what the situation is, but it makes sense that, you know, you are on the road to some kind of victory here after the battle, after the, you know, some kind of difficult situation here. Maybe that difficult situation is causing you to lose some money in some way or 
um, is costing you in some way. So just again, um, be aware. I feel like this is temporary. You know, don't go gambling right now, but for the most part, I think you're going to be okay. Or this is warning you not to, to pay attention to your finances. Don't let anybody take advantage of you. Okay, so maybe you need to keep an eye out. Make sure you're not being, um, you know, uh, identity theft or anything like that. All right, so just just make sure that you um, everything's on the up and up right now. Okay, just uh, you know, just be aware. Okay, let's see what else we get here. Spiritual ancestors community. All right, so community is all about spending time with like-minded people, leaning on your community if you need to, um, you know, like going out with your friends or, you know, uh, spending time with a group of, of people. So there's something here about community, and it could mean that you're going to meet somebody through your community if you're single. Um or, or it's just a time to to uh, not be so alone. The dragon's duel, inner conflict, morality, conscious choice. So again, here's your here's your two of swords, right? There's a decision. There's some inner conflict here. Um, you know, this could be about, you know, the the good dragon being about love and having faith. And the bad dragon could be about being angry and wanting revenge. Um, which one's going to win? The one you feed. So who are you going to feed? I would feed the one that's going to bring love into you, into your life, right? I would, I would feed the love dragon, the one that's, you know, the better person, the one that's rising above. You know, karma is a real thing, and when you choose to act with dignity and grace, you're going to get that back tenfold. You know, be kind. Always be kind. Maybe that's where that generosity is coming in. Right? Maybe you're choosing to be kind. Set your sights higher. So, again, rising above, choosing to be kind... Um, not settling for less, but also not allowing anybody to take advantage of you or anything like that. This card can also mean um, go beyond your limitations and believe that the impossible is possible. Right? You could be on the verge of a miracle right now. So I, I kind of feel like your dreams are going to come true somehow. So, you know, there might be an opportunity right now to, to heal a wound, maybe um, not feeling good enough or, uh, you know, something about your worth, you know, not feeling worthy. So I feel like this card is really telling you that you are worthy, you are talented, you are amazing, and you you have the ability to to capture your dreams right now. So um, I really like this card for you. So I'm kind of like now getting the feeling like something either happened that wasn't the greatest or it's happening now. 
And this is saying that you're going to come out so much better because of it or in spite of it, I should probably say. It might not feel like that when you're going through whatever you're going through, whatever battle it is. Um, but I think that they want you to lean on your community and they, I think they want you to believe in the impossible. Let me get you a few more. Time to release negativity. Okay, again, feed the good dragon <laughs> and and just let go of any bitterness or anger. And uh, what's this one? Investigate. Think before acting. Okay, yes, that's a good that's good advice. Think before acting. Don't, especially if we're gonna act in revenge or spite. We don't want to do that. You know, I keep hearing be kind. It's time to be kind. I just think you're such a good person, Aries. I think you have a huge heart. I think you're going to get a new soulmate coming in for you. Um, I think right now you need to concentrate on you, heal what needs to be healed, and then follow your passion. What is that? Who or who is that? I feel like you need to go get somebody, Aries. Like, go get her. Go get them. Just, uh, I don't know, live your dream. Because I feel like you have that ability right now to do so. To reach that dream. Reach for the stars with the stargazer. transformation light and dark there we go we're going to transform darkness to light um but let's read what metatron wants to tell you let me get that book what is it? 31 um pushing away one shadow doesn't work whether it appears as jealousy rage greed or spite Instead, you are being asked to understand and work through why such feelings arise and where they come from. And realize it usually is because it's an absence of love. Right? But um, if you take a look at that and you know that you are loved and you feel loved, transformation can happen. You know, when you choose the light over the shadow, the shadow can't play into your ego's hand anymore, right? So playing small or playing the blame game or having that victim mentality, um, you don't need to do that. Take the high road, take the light road, I should say. Not even the high road, just take the, the light road and shine, shine bright. You know, there, there will be a day where you can look back at this with compassion and learn from the mistakes or learn from your struggle, right? Just take it day by day. Because uh, if you have the intention to, to, to be light and to, to be good, and then, you know, that's what's going to come to you. And I think you have something pretty amazing. Like I said, I feel like you're on the verge of a miracle here. I feel like you're on the verge of reaching your dreams. So what is it? Things have changed. This is a transformation. This is a change. So something had to change. It wasn't meant for you anymore. So what do you think your passion is now? I know you're probably saying, I don't know what it is. Think about it. Think about it. Because I kind of feel like you know what it is. You're just, uh, I don't know, blocking it or thinking it's impossible or something like that. Anyways, Aries, I think you have something pretty amazing coming in for you in the near future. You just, you know, got to take it day by day right now and heal, get through the struggle. 
and uh, lean on your community if you have to. But then I want you to follow your passion, no matter who or what it is. Go for it. You deserve it. Let me pull you a few charms. Aries, you're looking good. You know what? Aries generally are a very attractive um, sign. I don't know why, but I I, find, I think I for some reason I always whenever I meet an Aries, they're usually very physically attractive. So uh, you're looking good. <laughs> so there you go. You go, you got to step up, up ahead already. Your angels and guides are here, loving you and supporting you. Abundance will flow to you. It is. It's coming. Don't hold on to anything too tightly. It's time to release the negative, right? Don't hold on to anything too tightly. Maybe it's a time to be independent, right? And we have October. So something, something major is coming in October. It might be new love. It could be, or just things are just going to, you know, the transformation will be all said and done by then. I don't know, but Aries, uh, uh, you, you have something to look forward to. You might not feel like it, but you do. So anyway, that's what I have for you. I hoped it helped. I hope it resonated. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.